All right, so welcome back, you guys. As you can see, today we're going to take a look at the new Justice League Superman uh, from Hot Toys. And um, we're going to also compare it to the uh, predecessor, the Batman vs. Superman, see how they compare to hopefully help you guys decide which one to get. Or if you're just looking through to <clears throat> see the similarities or differences, then we will also go through with that. So without further ado, let's get into these guys. Alright guys, here is the Spatman vs. Superman box. has the nice Superman logo on the front. It says Superman. The Batman vs. Superman at the bottom. And this is the Sideshow exclusive, so it does have the Sideshow label on the top right. And in the uh, actual box, you can see the picture of Henry Cavill Superman. And then when he's in that scene saving the... Uh, people in Mexico in the Day of the Dead and turn this box around it's got a pretty plain old red and blue side with the uh, MMS 343 turn it around we got your usual warnings and labels uh, with choking hazard and whatnot Batman vs Superman with what the top on the side again nothing except uh the little insert that says MMS 433. So, yep. And it is your typical uh, shoe, shoe box style box. And once you pop off the uh, shoe box style box, we have this nice insert that's a Superman with the uh, credits of all the sculptors and an actual picture of the figure itself, which is pretty good. Then we also get this nice little uh, base here where they came with all the Batman vs Superman and Lion figures. That says Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Superman. It's got the logo, Bat and Superman logo. And it does flip out like all the uh, other bases. So, pretty nice. And then we get these hands. We got a fisted hand. Two of them actually, I think the other one's on the figure now. <clears throat> the uh, kind of relaxed palm, open palm, whatever you want to call it. Very nice detail. As per usual, kind of got a, a open slash grasping kind of hand. Uh, so not bad. We have two of those. And then we have, of course, the flight hands. So if you want to pop them all on and <clears throat> make it look like he's flying through the air, you could. Pretty good detail there. You can see the veins. And that's pretty much it that comes with this figure. So let's get to the figure itself. And since the uh, Batman vs Superman is the exclusive, here is the Kryptonite that Lex Luthor found at the bottom of the ocean, which he had transported to Gotham. It's very detailed. It looks pretty cool. It does have a light up feature with a switch here. And you just flip it on and it lights up pretty good. Looks better at night, but yeah, so that's it. It looks very nice. All right, so here's the figure itself in all its glory. And that Head sculpt is right on point of Henry Cavill. So, this is one of the uh, better head sculpts back then when this came out. I mean, any way you look at it, that's Henry Cavill. Uh, it might be a little bit darker. I don't know. I think the uh, he looks a little bit tan, but other than that, um, that's it. And then the suit itself. Like the, uh, like in the in the movie, it's pretty dark. It's a very, pretty dark blue. And that uh, chest symbol, is pretty uh. Pretty big, if you ask me. Now that I look at it, uh, maybe a little bit too big, if you ask me. But the rest of the figure, looks pretty good. Um. Uh, yep. I'm going to turn this guy around. His cape. His 
tape is pretty well made and uh, droops down nicely. So, all right. So for the articulation on this guy, since he does have this kind of a rubber slash pleather suit kind of, it does hinder the articulation. I'd say you don't want to bend this guy more than about 45 degrees up and then forward. He could probably do about 100 degrees forward. I don't know if that's picking it up, but yep, there you go. Backwards, I'd say about maybe 45 degrees backward, backwards. Um, as far as his feet, you can go forward about 30 degrees backwards. Same thing to the side. Not much side articulation at all. I mean, unless you want to rip it. And then he does have pretty good knee articulation, as you can see. He can bend that knee almost about 130 degrees. So that's pretty good. But you don't want to leave him in poses, too extreme poses, because of this material. Uh, I think it gets loose over time. My figure's already starting to show signs of that uh, in some areas. So you might be <clears throat> careful with that. Um, but yeah, overall, it was my go-to Bat or Superman. Um, because, I, like I said, that head sculpt is on point <clears throat> and he looks pretty good but just like the Snyder Cut movies he does have that kind of dull color so that's why I did buy the Justice League Superman so we will review that guy next and he does have full head articulation you can turn to the side and he can look up. Uh, let's see. Let's see, he can look up pretty good too. Uh, he can look down pretty good. So. All right, and now the Justice League Superman has this nice portrait of Henry Cavill as Superman in the front, just like all the other Justice League line figures. And it says Justice League Superman, MMS 465, 1-6 scale figure. There you go, boom. Turn it to the side, Superman, MMS 465. The back, usual You Can't See the World logo from the Justice League. And your choking morning hazards, whatnot. On the side, again, Superman. And this type of box is a slip cover box. So you just lift up the top. And there you go. You can see inside the box. And let's go into it. So with this figure, we have slightly less uh, pairs of hands. We have the your open hand pair, your uh, flying hands right here and then you kind of uh, grasping hands here so just three pairs of hands and then the ones that are on the figure now the main appeal of this figure is this awesome angry head sculpt with the laser eyes from Superman so well done looks like he's about to do a uh, you know heat vision laser blast whatever you want to call it and it does light up, and I'll show you that feature later on. But yeah, so the main appeal about this figure is it also comes with this head sculpt. So you're getting two head sculpts with this. And just Plus, like all the other Justice League figures, it does come with the uh, Flying Fox base ramp. Um, there you go, it says Superman. Does have a dynamic stand, flying stand. So that is good since it is Superman, he does a lot of flying. So at least they gave us that. And then let's get out of the figure. All right, so here he is in all its glory. And I gotta say, I really, really like how this turned out. Um, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this figure and it was worth the wait. I mean, the colors are your classic 
you know, nice bright red, blue, and yellow in the symbol. And the symbol is much more proportionate, I think. It looks much better than the uh, Batman or Superman. It's nice, proportionate to his body. But I don't know if you can pick it up the camera, if the camera's picking this up, but it's very, very nice, nicely, nicely bright with colors. Um, so, and I think they got the skin tone right on this figure. He is more of a uh, paler color, paler, you know, skin color instead of that tan for the Batman vs Superman. But I will compare the two in a few moments, so we will see the differences. All right, so as far as articulation goes, he has a be better arm articulation, I would say. I mean, you could probably lift his arm maybe about, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees, more than the other one, uh, to the side and then to forward. I'd say about a good 90. And back, same thing. And like most reviewers have said, he does have a uh, sort of a silverish body because you can it comes through in the suit. I, I don't know if it's picking up on the uh, camera, but I think it is because you can see as I move around, there's like a kind of a silver hue on the suit. So it's pretty nice. I like it. And then as far as leg articulation and knee, it's in his foot can go forward about, I don't know, 30 degrees backwards a lot more, maybe about 40, 45 to the side. He does have a little bit more articulation, actually, than my Batman vs. Superman. I'd say about 45 degrees. I don't want to test the limits. And then he also has that nice double knee articulation, that knee joint. And he can twist his body. Not too much, but, you know, he isn't going to be a contortionist or anything, so as far as his head goes, you can move down a bit or up like he's about to take off. So that looks nice, too. His the head goes full 360 around. And I forgot to show the nice cape. Very nice. So, although mine has a little bit of dirt already. I don't know where that's from, but... But I'm very happy with this figure, so... There we go. So to sum it up, guys, I would say um, the difference between these two is, of course, the one on the left, Batman vs Superman, is a darker muted color uh, that coincides with, you know, Zack Snyder's movies that are always kind of uh, darker in color and, and tone and whatever. Um, and then the Justice League version is, you know, it's, it's a classic red, blue, and yellow colors, you know, like the Reeves, Superman. Um, so... If it were up to me, I'd say recommend probably just getting the uh, the current Justice League Superman. Unless you're a big fan of the uh, muted colors from Batman vs Superman, then I'd say if you can find it at a decent price, get that one. But for the uh, for the bang for your buck, you're probably getting more with the Justice League version since he does have the extra head sculpt, the nice base, and then, in my opinion, the more proportionate... Um, body proportions i guess and symbols i don't know it's just that symbol is so big on the batman vs superman it's bothering me now so but yeah i'd say the justice league version is the way to go it just looks so much better in my opinion so 
yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments, what you guys want to see next. Um, I know that some people want to see a collection uh, video. I'm working on that. I just haven't been able to do it, you know, but it will be coming. Um, and like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.